Oh, now this is bad. We had a bad omen, which means someone's trying to kill us. Let's... Uh... Okay. I'm out on a boat in the harbor when suddenly a flaming arrow soars through the sky towards us. It misses the boat by a hair's breadth. As I lean down to see it fizzle in the cold water, I catch the distinct smell coming from the wood of the boat. Greek fire. This was an attempt on my life. This was undoubtedly the work of my solitary fiend. Oh, my queen. <laughs> you guys remember when I pushed her in the trough? She's pretty mad about that. Um, So we can imprison her. Which I'm going to do. Because you... We'll make you at least go away. She's trying to kill me. Yeah, she runs away. Do I have anybody better than you for intrigue? No, you're my best stewardship. Let's get you on Disrupt Schemes. You were supporting my schemes. We need you to protect us. A lot of people hate us. And we're just trying to form the kingdom, the Baltic Empire. And now everyone's super mad. And it's not going down. It's all going downhill. As I sit quietly listening to my brash guest, Olog, locked in keen theological debates, the latter extreets patiently, but the backward Slavic teachings cannot be earnestly compared. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, so we can gain stress. Absolutely not. We can convert to this religion. Not going to happen. Uh, we could grow closer to forming a rivalry. I don't really want that. Or either both of them can lose. Yeah, let's say it's not our place to debate, debate the divine. Yeah, guys, come on. Just, keep, just stop. We, we're forming an, an empire. Oh, my rival dies. Yes, you were in jail. I'm so happy you're dead. That gives us a lot less uh, stress. Can we call a hunt? Oh, yes. Now we're all the way down to stress level three. Thank goodness. Bounding through the taiga, I'm gaining on the powerful wolf I've been chasing for hours. Just as I prepare to strike, I hear my vassal chieftess Kaibi cry out in pain. She's fallen down and is now clutching her leg. I will tend to her. That will give her 20 opinion of me. And then it'll also give me dress wounds. She'll gain that, and uh, I'll gain practice fields surgery, which gives plus one learning. Or like I could say, there's no time. She'll lose. This woman is very powerful, and I want her to like me, so I'll tend to her. All right, our offensive war demodifier is down to 15. So let's go ahead and push that by starting a war. I really want to start a war with this guy because he's in a battle to lose some territory, and I want to make sure to get that. So let's go ahead and claim a duchy here. This will be one, two, three counties. That will cost us 375 prestige. Very worth it. So let's go ahead and raise our armies up by his capital. And begin the war. So that uh, we can get the land and stop everybody else from grabbing it. So we don't have to fight another war with, uh, against a much more powerful person like we did have to fight against the king of Denmark over here. In fact, we're so strong. Let's go ahead and split our armies a little bit. And siege a lot of things all at once. I'm not that concerned with his army strength so i think we can do this freely but well everybody's close enough where we can combine them if any if we see any threats coming our way and we've unlocked yet another stewardship perk so we'll do this this is the claim your claim the throne scheme against your liege we don't have a liege so that's pretty useless for us but i would really like to go down here to chains of loyalty and then most importantly likable so people will like us a little bit more give a plus 20 modifier to everything here comes his army i see it right there i'm gonna go ahead and stay on all my sieges because they're progressing quite well and i think we'll be able to get this done but the only one i'm worried about oh no i knew that getting older would mean doing everything slower but i didn't think it would all come to a halt until my death lately i feel a constant malaise and everything takes more effort than before i'm worried that if i lie down i might not be able to get back up again there's no doubt my time is running out. I feel like I can do not but await death's sweet embrace to claim me. So I gained the trait infirm, which is minus three to everything, minus six to prowess, and a severe health penalty. So this is basically me knocking on death's door. Time is running out. We're going to need to spend the prestige that we have because this guy's not going to have it for very long. As soon as this war is done, we're going to upgrade our buildings and just spend prestige wherever we can. I'm very concerned about that. Where are you going with your troops? Are you trying to combine? Uh, there's that one. Okay, he's going up there. So let's bring our armies there to intercept. Let's bring you over. And we will catch this army here, which is good. So we split their armies and we'll just crush them here. There's a 100% war score. Let's let this one finish up so we can get a little bit more prestige. And we'll end the war there. It forced demands. And then we did capture you. <gasps> Nobody panic. Nobody panic. This man has 34 prowess. He's a legendary blade master. He's a cautious leader. 
He's an order member and he's a berserker. I'm going to negotiate your release. I'm going to demand your conversion. I'm going to recruit you. And I'm going to send you... Oh, to span the armies. I'm going to wait for this guy to get out of jail. And I'm going to send you a gift, sir. There's 12 gold. Oh, it's only five. Okay, so we are dying. We're on death's door. We're two above, above our domain limit. Let's quickly spend our prestige because it's not going to come back. And it won't carry over to the next character. So let's do another war camp there. Oh, shoot. Is there anything that can give me prestige really quickly? No. Okay. So let's go ahead and give away the titles that we just got here. Let's give it to another vassal. Someone of our faith. My champion. This is a perfect guy. Wait, wait, wait. You're my faith. Are you my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're perfect. Here's all three of those titles. You're my faith and my culture. So that's great for us. So he's another vassal. He's going to hopefully be a loyal one because he is our faith and our culture. We did accidentally give away an extra one, but that's perfectly fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and declare a war on you. I can't subjugate you. I don't really need to. Because I don't think we have enough to do the duchy, do we? No, we need 375. So let's go ahead and do a county one. This is your strongest one. You have a lot of allies, but you're in a war. So maybe we can get away with this cheeky battle real quick. And since we're about to die, and prestige doesn't matter anymore, let's call on our allies. Let's call Novgorod in. You will not accept. Let's call you in. You will accept. So Poland, get on in here, buddy. As I don't... I stand a good chance of beating him in his armies, but if he shows up with his death stack of allies, it's going to be really bad for us. So let's see if we can try and catch him. Yes. No. Can we catch him? Where are you going? Go down there. Yeah, chase his armies down before he has the opportunity to build up. Okay, we did catch him with one of our armies. The other two are on their way, but you can see he's got a big army up here, which is why I wanted to quickly defeat an army if I could. So now let's quickly march up here. We did die. Our counselor died. Our spy master died in that battle. Let's assign you. Yes, now you like us. That's good. I'm glad we uh, tended your wounds in the forest so that you... Because having a negative spy master or a spy master who doesn't like you is a very dangerous trait. Do we need another commander? No, we're actually good on commanders. So I'm actually going to not... King Corgi of Estonia has finally found peace at 66 years of age. He died Goutrin. <laughs> Something I tried to get rid of the whole game. A hollowed shell of his former self. He had long lost his wits by the time of his final passing. King Stykent ascends to the throne, spending long hours in prayer as to not upset Devas. Many are confident that his reign will be a blessing to the realm. Okay, so we need to fill our council with people who are going to be powerful. And hopefully like us. Yeah, let's get you there, even though you hate us. This man needs to be our marshal. Yeah, get in there, buddy. Uh, you're, you are a good spy master. And then our chancellor. I'd much rather have a good steward. And then we can throw you in there. Nope, you hate us. Get out of here. Don't even care about you. You like us a little bit more. Now... Let's take a look at our vassals, figure out who's the most powerful one that doesn't like us. Let's go ahead and... Why don't you like us? What's your problem? Uh, short reign title claimant. So let's... Can we not sway you? Oh, you're a child. Okay, so we'll ignore you for the time being. We'll pick up this man. We'll sway him. We have an 88% chance. Let's go ahead and train commanders. Let's do domestic... No, we're going to need the prestige. And hopefully we can survive this. We have nine of five titles, so we have way too many titles. Let's see if our how many we can keep if we get our wife there. Okay, so we have nine of six. So let's figure out where our titles are. Where's this one? This is not ours. This you would like you would like this because I'm sure you want that. Yeah, let's give you that. Okay, now we're eight of six. Where are our other titles? Goblin down here. Who wants Goblin? Do you want Goblin? Is that why you hate me? No, you don't care about Goblin. But it is your de jure, so let's give that to you. And then we're seven of six. I think this one was ours too. Yeah. Okay, so who does this belong to? It will belong to up here. So we're going to keep this one for the time being. We need to choose a focus. We'll do Marshall. So let's go ahead and do Prowess. 
mostly because I'm going to be fighting a lot of battles. I know that. I'm very scared about that. So let's go ahead and get the prowess. We're going to be fighting a lot of rebellions. People are going to definitely want to try and take this opportunity to fight us. And oh my goodness, you had a lot of troops. Never mind, that wasn't that many. So I might even consider white piecing with this man because I'm just very concerned with how many people are going to hate us. But we're already here. Let's send an army there and an army there. And then you two combine you and we're going to go hunting for his army. And one thing I do want to do, we have 1500 gold. Let's send gifts. 47 to gain 23. Yeah, this is a great way if you have extra gold to just bring pin people's opinion. But like someone who's like minus 100 is not going to matter. You are my spy master. I definitely need to get you up. You are pretty close. Let's get you up. Um, You're decently close. Let's get you up. Now, if we get a faction against us, which we do have. How much do you hate me? You hate me a lot. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely going to be fighting, which is why I'm very concerned about doing this. Continuing this war is we're going to need all these troops to defend our interests against this man but uh, we'll continue onwards because we already have called in our ally it is a pretty safe bet that we're going to win this war shout out my dynasty bittens congratulations on my nephew who is lisping okay that's a little bit unfortunate uh oh ooh. oh darn it i was about to say maybe we can educate our children you're married already oh gosh that sucks okay outliving a child which one died oh i have this one too Oh, no, his name is Corgi. I'm going to throw him in prison. Because he's a boy. He didn't deserve this. I'm sorry, other son, that I'm pretty happy actually died. Through the dungeons. All right, we've once again caught his army. We have a lot more troops this time. Let's see if we can get him and... No. But we do defeat him. We get a little bit of war score. We really need these sieges to go through. All right, so the King of Novgorod... Wait, you're not the King of Novgorod. Oh, Moldovia. You want a truce? You want to give us 55 gold? Sure. And my daughter comes of age. Congratulations. You're betrothed to somebody. Who is this? Okay, at least we get an alliance out of that. That's fine. And then there's another bit of army over here. We do need to slow down a little bit. We're at 0% of our... Or we have no supplies. So we're going to take a lot more battles. We do take a venerable hostage and we get the... We capture him. So let's go ahead and force demands here. There we go. Disband our troops, which we are desperately going to need. We have two titles now that we don't want. Uh, let's give these to a new person. I could give it to my player's son and heir, but I don't really want to do that. I want to control his destiny. Let's give it to my champion. Yeah, let's give you these two. There you go. And now we're at our domain limit, finally. So people will stop freaking out about that. We do have 180 prestige. And we are... Three titles away from forming the Baltic Union. But I don't believe it'll be that simple. I am very much expecting civil wars. Now, there will be some rebellions pro probably popping off very soon. We have a lot of people that don't like us. In fact, most of our vassals do not have great opinions of us. Mostly because we have a short reign debuff, minus 17. So that is going to be a big problem for us. We're also viewed as a tyrant, also a murderer. People hate those two things. Uh, so let's go ahead, since we have so much gold, and play around with the court position. So first off, we're going to need a court position. Everyone's terrible, so we're not going to do that. And uh, in antiquity, we can get an average person. Let's go ahead and say you can do that. And so we can make court artifacts. Court tutor, we don't need because we don't have any more children that we're really raising. Food taster, my daughter... You like me? You can be my food taster. This is going to make it harder for people to attack me or kill me, which would be great. Uh, let's see. Knight Effectiveness, Master of the Horse. We have an excellent person for that. Let's definitely hire you. Master of the Hunt. Let's see. Gives court grandeur bonus. Gives aids while hunting. Yeah, you can do that. That'll make you like me a little bit more. And I do want some bodyguards. So let's get my player, son, and heir. He will hopefully protect me. And let's see if we can hire another bodyguard. We can. We could get this guy who's excellent, but he actually doesn't like me that much. You know what? If you're excellent, let's go ahead and get that. Hopefully you don't murder me. That might be a huge mistake. But we're only three counties away. We don't have the offensive modifier bonus. 
debuff anymore, do we? Only five. So let's go ahead and we could count conquer that. Tell me about the duchy. The duchy costs 188. Why can we not do this? My fame is less than illustrious. Darn it. Okay. Well, since it's going to require multiple wars anyways, you have an alliance with that man who's got 1400. Let's go ahead and declare a war with you for this county here and move our ways over. Now, this is a lot cheaper for us to do because we have this Bellum Justum, which is m minus 50% to the Cassus Belli cost. So it's half the cost that was costing our last character to declare war is what it's costing us now. So let's go ahead and raise our armies, march to his capital, hopefully make this a quick war that we can then turn into another war with Estonia and then probably one more with you in order to kind of win these battles. Let's capture your army if we can. We will catch you here as we join this man's uh, army instead. I don't think this will counter our war score, unfortunately, but it will weaken you. So that's an overall plus for us. Let's go ahead and split the army. Have some of you stay here. And then why don't you guys go here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight that battle. Hopefully this is enough. Yeah, we did have some good troops for this. We're in force, so his horsemen really don't count for much. We do capture a combatant. Tell me about this combatant. He's terrible. Okay. Trading a war horse. As I expect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a stallion kept away from all the others. He throws his head and stomps his hooves, displaying powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I've never seen such a war horse, but the stable master insists he's impossible to train. I can say back away. I uh, will train him. Such a fine steed will fetch a hefty price. Or my stable master will learn a lot from taming this. And this will give night effect to this. We could use a war horse. Let's see if we can get the war horse. The horse pins his ears back as I approach. His disregard for me is crystal clear. The first meeting is important to earn his trust and respect. And I need to decide how to go about it. A steady hand is required to tame this beast. That's based on my prowess, which is 20. Diplomacy? No. Or intrigue? No. Yeah. Let's do our prowess. It is a mighty feeling. The powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I've earned his trust, he seems almost fond of me. I will keep him as my personal war horse, which will give plus one prowess and prestige gain. Or this was rewarding. I get tamer of horses, which does the same, and I get a martial perk. I want the war horse. Yeah, give me that war horse. And let's go with stalwart leader. I want to go down this trait for household guard, especially. That gives plus four knights, and shivert dominance gives effectiveness. We need to name our war horse. Let's go ahead and say a name inspired by history. Let's go with uh, King Charlemagne's horse. All right, so we have six months left on this. We finished the siege over here, but he has linked up with his armies here. So let's see if we can challenge him. I'm always down for a good scrap. We can get potentially a little bit more prestige from this. People will respect us more and potentially fear us. Why is this not going through? It is going through. Okay, the icon just went away. We get a new perk for lifestyle. So let's go ahead and get this for our marshal. And let's get ready for this battle down here as he is sieging down one of our provinces. Not that concerned with his sieging. I'm mostly concerned. In fact, let's just charge in right away. We don't have the men to get there, but this army behind... Oh, actually, we do just crush him right away. We seize an artifact and we get 100% war score. So let's go ahead and force demands there. Disband our armies. We'll give away this territory to somebody new. And you are my culture and your pretty good stewardship. So let's give you that. You immediately hate me. Okay, well, gosh, everybody hates me. I understand. This is a very popular thing to do. And then let's go hunting as well. Even though we don't need the stress, we'll gain the opinion of it. Oh, and then let's also commission an artifact. That'll be delightful. We need a crown. Ooh, you're hurt again. You are really bad at going on hunting. We'll tend to you. To my liege, I know that you are someone's real killer. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. He gets a weak hook on us. Yeah, you can do that. And we can hold court. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first time we've done it with this new king, just for the first people to come in. My wife comes forward apprehensively, escorted by her husband. Wait. My wife comes in, escorted by me, who seems in a bad temper. 
He spouts out, My lord, Chief Pukik, is trying to seduce my wife in affront to Devas. He clearly lusts after my beautiful spouse and cannot contain himself. Ola is clearly embarrassed to have this aired so publicly and barely bring herself to meet my eyes. Um... I will not tolerate adulterers in my court. We can rightly imprison you. Let's do that. A haggard-looking peasant now stands in front of me. My lord, I beg for your help. A monster prowls in the taiga of Kokonos, killing cattle and farmers alike. Few have seen it, but the mangled remains of its poor victims leave no doubt. It's clearly a huge wolf, as bloodthirsty as few have ever been seen. Please send your strongest hunters and save us from this ferocious jaws. Uh, we can say take the gold. We can send our personal champion out. We should fell the beast ourselves. I kind of want to try that. Let's try it ourselves. Before me stands my brother-in-law, Chief Golding. His head hung low. My lord, Kelmo, has been hit hard by recent raiding and looting. The people are starving, our fields are not recovering, and our livestock is not enough to survive anymore. We beg you to intervene and save your devoted subject with great magnanimity. He bows deeply and falls silent. Some gold will help. I'll grant you tax relief. Uh, I'll send somebody or a man you can manage on your own. I'll give him gold. Alrighty. And we've gained a hook on you. Let's see if we can use that hook for anything. Not really. Okay, we'll keep it in case he tries to join a faction against us. As the preparations complete, I set out with a selected group of guards to face the infamous monster that is terrorizing Coconos. It doesn't take us long to find it. A clear trail of blood leads us straight to the creature's abode. I was already informed of what to expect, but when the mass when the massive wolf finally stands in front of me, I can't help but shiver. Face me, you foul beast. I have a 76% chance of killing it. 23% chance of getting wounded. 0% chance of dying. Let's go ahead and fight it. We've killed the monster. Uh, and we gain novice hunters. The novice hunter gives plus 2 prowess, minus 10 for stress loss. That's really good for us. With my mind set on a relaxing evening, I'm heading for my son Butuvit's chambers with some spiced wine and a deck of cards. Without knocking, I push his door open. Butuvit is seated on his desk, writing frivolously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pockets and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon his face. I say, what are you hiding? Uh, he'll lose 15%. I can find out what he's hiding behind his back. 60% chance of that, or I can respect his privacy. You're my son, player, and heir. I'm going to go ahead and respect your privacy. Don't kill me, bro. Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close to forming the kingdom. Gesture of appreciation! A mischief smile is playing on Butuvit's lips. I have, I know I have acted strangely as of late, and I apologize for that, but I had good reason. Butuvit gestures for me to follow and leads me to the courtyard, sat on her horse and dressed for travel as High Chieftain Betton. I've arranged a little trip for the two of you, uh, Butuvit says excitedly. I thought you could use some quality time together. Thank you, Butuvit. We may lose 28 stress and gain 20 opinion of him. I can. Oh, but I'm not lustrous. Oh, here's our crown. Plus point. One, two, prestige a month, and courtier and guest opinion plus four. Not necessarily the best that we could have gotten, but I will still obviously wear it. I'm drinking alone in the tavern where suddenly they see how my friend Chief Cabby sit down across from me. I quickly make my way over and we spend the rest of the night drinking together. She really knows how to have a good time. Drink up, my friend. We become friends. Yes, my spy master and me are friends. That's huge. Although you are severely injured and oof, oof, you're probably going to die soon. The challenge. I am sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat beating on my forehead. When I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched, looking over my shoulder, I spot my son and heir, Butuvit, who waves at me. I walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while, trading tricks and advice. Just as I'm about to leave for another round, Butuvit's face lights up and he suggests we practice together. Challenge accepted. Um, sure. The sounds of mace clashing against sword echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see their king fighting his son and heir. The crowd applauds as I lunge, and their admiration makes me bold. Instead of pulling back, I attempt a new technique I've been practicing. The movements flow through me and through my mace as if we were one. Buduvet is defenseless before me. Let's end it here well fought. We'll gain 75 um, prestige and 20 opinion. Or I'll show him not to challenge me again. I'll gain 16 dread and give him wounded. Let's end it here. We don't need to kill our heir. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious, right? All right, two exciting things. We have a new lifestyle perk. Let's go ahead and get household guard plus four knights. That's going to be huge. Oh, now we need knights. You're 24? 
Come on in, brother. And that's it. And one thing I do want to do, I have so much prestige that I really don't need right now. Let's go ahead. We can record. Let's bring in a forest specialist. You have come. You are terrible. Oh, darn it. We could also invite champions. That'll be another 150 prestige. Let's hold off on that. But we do get another dynasty legacy as well. So let's go ahead and increase the warfare. Plus 15 pursuit efficiency. Minus retreat losses. Cast his belly cost minus 20%. An answer to all situations. I understand that you are interested in deepening your grasp on warfare. Chief Chieftain Galilean rearranges his shirt as he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. Galilean is well known for his mastery of all manner of varied tactics. If there's one man who could help me understand it, it would be him. I want to learn or I can leave it to my generals. We have a chance of getting a martial skill here. We might get flexible leader, which is really good for us. So let's definitely take that. See if he will... Enhance our skills even more on the battlefield. We are actually developing into quite the good character despite, uh, you know, being a murderer and only a level two tough soldier of the martial trait. But we'll see how that kind of works out for us. Our truces are almost up. We only need six more months to declare war on Estonia again. I am passing through Truso, the capital of my spy master, High Chieftains, Sergonas. By the way, this man used his hook to become my spy master, so I'm trying to sway him. Uh, I'll stay for a while. Let's see if we can get him to like us a little bit better uh 76 percent chance yeah let's do this and this and now it's time for bed all right the visit went well he gains 10 opinion of us wonderful what are you at right now? 13. This is after me giving him a gift, too. He was he did not like me. This is actually going down. As he's a title claimant. Ooh. I can't fire him for like five years either. That's really bad. But we're very close. Very close. Three months away. May is very close. And then we'll finally be able to declare war on Estonia. We're not quite illustrious. Let's see if we can actually go raiding really, really quickly. Happy May 3rd, a.k.a. the end of our truce. Let's go ahead and declare war. Can subjugate oh we can subjugate him that's all we need yes this is huge this is huge to raise our people i'd even check your allies i, I was so okay a thousand we have ten thousand i don't know what i'm worried about raise the troops bring them in let's fight this war yes meet me on the battlefield coward what are you running away just because i have ten thousand troops to your one thousand we'll catch you Let's leave a delegation. Oh, commander promoted. Martin, yes, you can serve me. Let's leave a delegation of you. No, I think it was this one. Stay here. Siege the capital. Everybody else can give chase. You have to stop sometime. We'll catch you. I know where you're going. You're going to my capital, aren't you? Child of my dynasty. Don't care. There we go. We're going to catch him here. He's going to try and leave by the sea. Oh, no, he's not. But we're still going to be able to catch him. Yes. Yes. Bring the troops. Bring the blood. Oh, I didn't capture him. But who did we get? Oh, you are a novice physician. You need a physician. Let's negotiate. Your... Let's recruit you. And let's see if we can appoint you as our physician. Need that. Yeah, poor. Still poor. Okay, yeah, you can just do it. Hopefully you don't kill me. A lot of people want to kill me these days. Send some troops up there. Let's send you to help up there. This is going to be... We don't have the siege equipment required to really do the damage here. This man's actually attacking us. He's an ally, so let's go ahead and bring our troops over. Ooh, this might actually be a little bit more than we gambled for with 5,000. So let's stop here. Let's make them cross into the strait against us. Yeah, yeah, run away, run away. Go to the boat. Ooh, okay. Chieftain Galleon has shown me the ins and outs of the manner of varied tactics. My final test is a mock battle against him to show what I've learned. 64% chance that we win. Oh, we get flexible leader. Let's go. Enemy defense advantage minus 50%, which is perfect because we're about to fight this man right now. Yes, we catch him. We split their armies. 
And he's going to try... Oh, we completely wiped him. Let's move down here and continue to give chase. Oh, we'll catch him there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yes, and this commander is amazing. His advantage is 42. So just wiping the floors with all these people. We've almost finished the siege up top, so that might be enough. How much longer for this siege? 52 days. So we might, just might, finish the war here. And we will be actually catching his, his new raised army over here with 300 men. We'll quickly dismantle that, even though he did rally with his other troops to get about 2,000. There we go. War is over. Let's go ahead and force demands. Victory. Let's go ahead and disband our troops. Now is the time. Now is the time, ladies and gentlemen, that we've all been waiting for. The Baltic Empire create the title. I am now a mighty high king, an emperor. Yes. This is what we wanted. We are so strong. Oh, that looks good. I like that a lot. How many more troops do we get now because we're an emperor? Yes, another 2,000. And with that, that is well, we will leave this series accomplishing all of our mighty goals. Forming the Baltic Empire once and for all. We have done many great things. We have done this in a short time frame. We will explore Crusader Kings more in the future. But if you like this series, if you want to see more Crusader Kings Leave a comment down below, leave a, leave a like on the video, especially leave a comment down below with future character names, as well as uh, any series that you want to do, any starting positions, or any mods you would like to see. With that, I will bid you adieu, and thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give a thumbs up, it helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more, I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.